Morning Bobcat. Today is Wednesday, April 29th. And I like to look at the calendar and see what special things are being observed each day. So today I found out that it is denim day. So I'm wearing my denim shirt. It is International Guide Dog Day. So a couple of cheers for those um, guide dogs helping people get around. And it is also International Dance Day. And I thought we would celebrate International Dance Day with their greetings. I did a little checking around and I found out that a common greeting across all sorts of different cultures um, when they have their dances is that they put their hands out to welcome people and then they draw them in. So let's do that together. Okay, let's do it one more time. That's going to be our greeting for today. So. We're welcoming you to um, Wednesday. Okay. For our share time today, I had something else planned, but then it took a different turn and it actually led around back to Miss Baber's word of the month, which was humor. So I want you to think about, has there ever been a time when you started to do something and things went so wrong that it actually turned out being very, very funny? So for our chair time today, I was going to ask you a question and I was going to show you a video of my dog Sandy playing fetch. This is what I had planned. This is Sandy. She's a good fetch player. But this is what I got. When I watched that video, I could not help but laugh and laugh and laugh. I think it's the hardest I've laughed in a long time. So it made me think, what are those things that make us laugh so hard? I would love to hear about it. And I'd love for you to share it with your family. So I hope you have lots of funny stories to share with your family. As I've been thinking about our activity for today, I thought back to a time when I was little and my grandparents lived on a farm. While my parents were at work, I went out to the farm every day to stay with my grandparents. And there are lots of things to do on a farm. I had a great time. But sometimes my grandma wasn't able to sit down with me and do something. She needed me to sit down and do my own things or go outside and play where she could still watch me, but she had to do her own um, work. So she taught me how to do some things on my own so that she didn't always have to sit down with me. And one of those things she taught me is how to crochet. And that has come in very handy as I've been um, at home a lot the last few weeks that I've had time to sit down and start crocheting. The other thing she taught me it was a little activity that I've done so many times through the years. If I'm bored, if I'm stuck somewhere having to wait a long time. And I've done this in after school several times also. And she called it moving pictures. So the way we're going to start, we're going to have a little piece of paper like this. You don't need a lot of paper. It can just be a scrap. But we're going to take our paper and fold it in half like this. So now we have it, it's like a little notebook. And I'm going to put mine on this clipboard just so you can see it easier. You don't need to put it on the clipboard. It actually works better on a table. So I'm gonna clip it to the clipboard. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift up the top paper. I'm gonna draw a very, very simple picture on the bottom page. So what I'm going to draw is just a smiley face. So a circle and some eyes and a smile. And then I'm going to give him some bangs like that. So then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put this paper down 
and I'm going to draw another face. So I'm going to try to put my circle in about the same place. And this time his eyes are going to be wide open. I'm going to do big circles for his eyes. And his mouth is going to be open. Ah. And his hair is going to be sticking straight up. So now what makes this a moving picture? I'm going to take this pencil, and I could have used my marker. And I'm going to roll the top page up. And then I'm going to just roll my pencil back and forth across that. And so it makes it look like my picture is moving. Can everybody see that? And so you can do that with all kinds of pictures. And I've done this lots and lots through the years. Every time I do it, I think of new ways to, um, new pictures to make. This is one that Mr. Coleman made. It's um, somebody throwing and catching a ball, or throwing a ball. So you can see that he's throwing the ball. And then this is one I just thought of today. I need someone hula hooping. Hey Bobcats, for our active time today, we're going to do a cool activity I found online. So I've taken a piece of paper and I wrote out the alphabet down one side of my paper and down the middle. And for each letter, I've assigned a different exercise. So for example, A is seven counts of pretend hula hoop. Q is nine squats. I is nine leg lifts. X is 13 um, right leg lifts. So you can pick different letters to do different exercises and mix it up each day. So today, since we're doing a video, I chose a short word. We're going to do fun. So F is 14 seconds of jogging in place. So let's go. And then U is run to the nearest door. Now my chart says to do that back and forth five times. Since we're doing the video, I'm only going to do it once. And then finally for N, it says to do 14 arm flaps. So we're going to flap our arm like a big bird. So there you go guys, you can pick words, do different exercises every day. Maybe you want to pick your name, your favorite color, your favorite food, the word of the week, which is intriguing this week. And you can pick those words and do a different exercise every day. So go have fun, Bobcats. All right, Bobcats, it's time for us to get our day started. I hope you have a great day. I miss you, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Have a great day.